If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out EasyNPC.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. I decided to take like 24 hours off yesterday thinking, you know, there'd be no news. I was thinking, you know, I've already got a video tuned in, which was meant to come out earlier today, which I've delayed now because of the news. And I thought I'd have some time off given like obviously my birthday and stuff. And next thing you know, 10 o'clock last night, in my time, Bethesda decided to share a bunch of new news. So, you know, terrible time in Bethesda, but you know, never mind. The news is fantastic. We're going to dive in, let you all know what's going on and stuff if you haven't seen already. And yeah, let's have a quick dive in. If you enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's have a look what is new in Fallout 76. Right, so... First things first, I did a video on Monday talking about what I thought was going to be in this update because we knew the news was coming out this this week about it and then coming into PTS, which is now actually live in the PTS, so it's meant to be coming out next week. Um, but funnily enough, it's meant to be live right now and it's a lot more than what I actually originally thought. So I thought there was going to be like a survival mode coming in and it isn't. I thought they were going to be just adding in survival mode for the PvPers and stuff, but it is so much bigger than that. So basically in September, we're getting a huge update. There's going to be daily ops expansion and there's also going to be Fallout Worlds getting added in. Now Fallout Worlds, as you can see here, look, someone's building in Watoga right here and it looks absolutely mad. They built a, uh, like a pyramid thing in Watoga. It looks really cool. Um, but here it says, yeah, uh, well, I'll quickly read over it for you. It says, one of the things we love uh, uh, best about video games and strive for in every game we create is that you can make them your own. Not just in the way you play them, but the ability to change them. Our modding community has been an, an enormous part of our games for over 20 years, and it's always been our long-term goal with Fallout 76 to give you your own servers to customise for yourself and your friends. After much iteration, we're thrilled to reveal an exciting new system that's just the beginning for creating all new experiences designed for you. Now, this is the really, really cool stuff. So Fallout World's coming in. There's going to be multiple different type ones you can do. Um, but basically, there's not like set modes. You set the settings. You create the settings yourself. You'll have a list. You can control the weather. You can control if there's PvP. You can control where you can build. You can control the build budgets. You can do absolutely awesome like stuff. Like imagine me doing like a live stream, get a bunch of builders in there and go, right, you have say one hour to build something, wherever you want, do like a build off challenge. Get a bunch of builders in there and I just go around visiting the camps, checking how they're getting on with like unlimited uh, build budget, low restrictions and stuff. It would be absolutely insane and a lot of fun. So like so much cool stuff coming here. It says here with Fallout Worlds, your imagination is the limit when under the sky of your own personal Appalachia. Utilizing a wide list of customizable settings, players can construct camps in previously restricted areas or even remove the need for electricity to establish a builder's paradise. Love Fallout 76 survival mechanics? You can double down on braving Appalachia's untamed wilds by changing the PvP rules and difficulty settings. And those are just but two of the possible examples in Fallout Worlds. So lots of cool stuff. Combine unlimited combat, EAP, and infinite ammo to become a mighty wasteland warrior. Configure creature spawns for a serious big game hunting. Control weather effects such as fog, nuclear radiation, or quantum storms. Turn on absurd jumping heights. Just remember to turn off fall damage and enable ragdoll physics. Now, I don't know why I ragdoll physics has been added in, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun, especially if you can just jump miles. Like, I remember GTA, you'd purposely ride off things just to kind of see what would happen. It'd be so much fun. I know that there used to be someone I used to watch, they used to do videos on like ragdoll physics in games. You can change the height on the settlements. All of this and more are all yours to play and experiment with as you see fit. And yes, the list of customizable options will continue to grow. So the more they, they keep adding into the game, the more they're going to like keep adding to um, Fallout Worlds. They're just going to keep adding and adding more settings. And it's just unlimited what they're going to add in. This could possibly lead to getting mods. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there's so many people that want mods. Um, but this is basically what's going to be. So when you start the game after the update in September, you'll be introduced to two brand new modes as part of Fallout Worlds public worlds and custom worlds right so that's it there it says right here though this is one little thing that i had to point out so maximum 24 players 
um, it says does not share progression with adventure and then there's also challenges cannot be completed and score cannot be earned that is one little downside for me I think it kind of takes away some of the fun, some of the grind. If you could grind it out in this mode, I think it would be awesome. It's going to be great either way, like something completely different and stuff. But I feel like this should be something where you can still level up in, in my opinion. I feel like it should be... I think it's not like a game where you're going to boost type of thing. Um, like, what, what the hell are you going to boost? I suppose you could up the spawns and just blast through levels, like, stupidly fast. Um, but, I don't know. I feel like, it, like even if it just give you a percentage of XP, so it wouldn't, like encourage people to take advantage of that um going on here it says public worlds are a rotating series of fallout worlds experiences available to all players so there'll be this public world one here which is that one the quantum world and then the custom world so custom world is for fallout first public worlds which will change every single month it'll be rotating on the pds right now it's every week it rotates but when it comes into the live game, it's going to be every single month, it'll rotate. So you'll have, for example, this one here, it's Calamity Pain. I don't know what that is. We'll find it out, no doubt. But it's like, you can maybe take a PvP one. So there'll be a PvP world active for a month. You can go in there, have a bunch of fun and stuff, and it'll have like unlimited ammo, whatever it is that the settings have been made up to be. Um, but basically it says, uh, handcrafted by the team at Bethesda Game Studios with input from Fallout 76 community, each public world uses different combinations of Fallout world settings to bring you a unique playing experience. This offers everyone in Fallout 76 the opportunity to see for themselves what's possible in Fallout worlds, as well as inspiration for their own creations in their own private worlds. So really cool stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. Here is a little screenshot. Um, might actually be in the way here. Let me zoom. Oh, oh, oh. Right, we're going in the top corner now. So this is the crack. This is it. So Calamity Pain, this is going to be one of the monthly rotational ones that might come in at some point. And it says here, you can see all the like settings. So it's got relaxed camp placement, fully relaxed. That would mean you can place your camp in White Springs. You can place your camp in Watoga, West Tech, wherever you want. Places where you're not meant to be able to build a camp, you can now build camps in. Camp height, nuclear. Now I'm guessing nuclear is the highest because like obviously the, the height of like what a nuclear bomb goes to. I'm guessing that's what that means camp power always powered so you don't need to worry about wiring up camps free building which i'm not sure what free build means i'm guessing free building means you don't use actual materials you can just keep building and building and building you don't have to worry about using up their materials and um, camp radius very high camp budget very high now i was surprised at that to be fair i thought it would have been like camp budget unlimited but as we can see no and um, relaxed building restrictions is on and free workbench crafting is on as well so building restrictions i'm guessing is like stuff floating and stuff like that i would have, i'd presume kind of like building a shelter and then you can see a little bit down here as well where it's got like infinite ammo ragdoll behavior and vats and melee costs that's just some of the settings that's going to be in the game but it gives you an idea of what to expect so really cool exciting stuff there and it says here that we are only just getting started we're committed to bringing even more customizers, customizable, customizable options and ways to play to uh, to play Fallout Worlds. I've lost my head. With eyes on the feedback of the Fallout 76 community, our goal is giving players the ability to transform Fallout 76 into, as the name implies, their very own world. It says here as well, get your first taste of Fallout Worlds when the feature hits public test servers today, which would have been like yesterday now, um, the 20th of July. For players seeking out more information, we will have more details to share regarding Fallout Worlds made available at a later date. Whether you're craving your own immersive role-playing server, immersive personal fortress, wacky platforming level, or whatever else your imagination conjures, we can't wait to see what Fallout 76. That actually gives me a cool idea. Imagine having like taking off the height restrictions and the building restrictions and having like a platform game, building it all and you've got to like take off the jumping uh, restriction as well and just jumping like miles and doing like an obstacle course, that would be awesome. And then putting on the ragdoll effect as well, so if you fall off it's going to be funny. Lots of cool stuff to look forward to there, but that is all that news in there. Now there is also the PTS update, with, give me one second, I'll quickly switch over. Ignore that little bit about the PTS, I went over it, there isn't really that many huge changes to come with it or anything like that there is like obviously it's basically just reiterating what we've just gone over apart from some daily ops news but i'll keep that for a separate video for anyone that's strictly 
kind of focused on daily ops that way if anyone asks what's coming new with daily ops i can just recommend them to watch that video type of thing so stay tuned for that i'll probably upload that one tomorrow if you're interested in stuff but for now that's it for today's video guys so i hope you all enjoyed if you did hit that like button make sure to subscribe and if you made it this far comment on my lovely sunburn <laughs> it's gonna be very sore tomorrow but yeah thank you guys i'll see you later bye bye <laughs>